Edmontonians are great recyclers, but have you ever wondered what happens to all the stuff you put in a blue bag or a blue bin? Let's go watch the process. Welcome to the Materials Recovery Facility, also known as the MRF. This is where all of Edmonton's recyclables are sorted. Everything you set out in a blue bag or a blue bin if you live in an apartment comes here for sorting. We're here to show you what happens to your recyclables. It's an amazing process that combines mechanical sorting and manual sorting. There are about 70 people that work here, two eight-hour shifts sorting materials that can't be sorted by machines. Let's go in and see how it works. We're standing on the tip floor. Every day, trucks arrive from all over the city to drop their loads of recyclables. We receive about 200 tons every day. That's well over 100 truckloads. We've got a lot of sorting to do. First, the bags are sent to a shredder where metal teeth tear them open. Then they are fed onto a conveyor where sorters take out large items that aren't recyclable, like toasters or waiting pools. Then a machine takes off the large cardboard and sends it for recycling. Here you can see the workers pulling off the plastic bags. This includes the blue bags. They then feed them into overhead vacuum tubes. All the bags are then recycled. I'm here with Wendy. She's a lead hand here at the MRF. We're here discussing the recycling sorting process. Uh, Wendy, I was wondering if you could tell us, are there any types of items you get that you really don't want? Well, we get quite a few actually. We get a lot of wire. We get uh, tubing, bicycle tubes, used motor oil, uh, paint. We get gasoline. If there is one thing that you could tell Edmontonians to remember, what would be that one thing? I think the big thing would be, you know, keep your garbage separate from your recyclable. The garbage belongs in the garbage. We don't want the carpeting, the clothing, anything like that. Well, Wendy, I thank you for your insight. Okay. This is where the first major separation happens. The star screen separator separates the paper from the containers. The lighter paper goes up over the top of the screen and all the heavier items fall down through the bottom. The paper goes to one conveyor and all the containers go to a separate sorting line. At the paper sorting line, people sort out materials that isn't paper, like some of the bags that made it through. By weight, about 70% of all materials is newsprint and it just falls off the line and is sent to the balance. You'll remember, everything that wasn't paper was sent to a separate sorting line. Here, a trommel screen with a large magnet takes off all the tin cans. All the glass is taken off by this machine, and all other containers, they're separated by hand and put into the bunkers. The bunkers gradually fill up, and then the material is fed on to a conveyor to the balers. The baling machine scrunches the material together into large cubes. These bales are now ready for shipping to local companies and to companies in North America and around the world. That's how your recyclables are assorted and prepared for market. On average, 85% of everything that comes into the MRF is sold. Now, for the safety of Wendy and the other people that work here, Please remember to recycle the right things. No, before you throw. Check out our website for a complete list of appropriate items. And keep, keep recycling, recycling Edmonton. Edmonton. Thanks for watching. <laughs>